what is transit-oriented development? Well, transit-oriented development is a development model that's been very, very successful in just about every downtown area in Massachusetts and New England, and around the country, actually, that has a commuter rail station and a mixture of different types of transportation assets. Lowell, Haverhill, Waltham, Newton, Boston, they have all taken advantage of a model that says, within a five to 10 minute walk of a commuter rail station, we can create high density residential mixed use development as the model to bring investment and vitality back to downtowns. So Framingham, the commuter rail station, has the highest ridership on the Boston to Worcester commuter rail line. Why haven't we seen transit oriented development blossom in downtown Framingham the way we've seen it in other downtown areas? Well, we've been pursuing that question for about 18 months. And we've invited and participated with a panel of development experts who've done this type of development in other downtown areas. So they've identified three things. One is density, that we don't have enough density in residential in particular to create critical mass that would allow people to aggregate parcels and do things at scale. So increasing the number of units per acre in particular, maybe adding some uh, elevation so that we can get three or four stories, if not five or six, is essential to creating the critical mass we need to bring residents downtown taking advantage of these assets. Secondly, we're told that we have a much, much too strict suburban parking requirement for a market that's more driven by access to rail and transit than it is the automobile. So easing up on the parking requirement makes it infinitely easier to put together the financing and do a project. And then thirdly, we need flexibility. If we want residential mixed-use development downtown, we should allow it to put together a project that meets the market demands at that point in time. I'm really convinced if we do these three things that there's a market for high residential, dense development that has a retail and an office component. We have a vision for downtown Framingham a workforce style housing for young skilled workers that are comfortable with mixed income multicultural downtown areas they'll drive the development of amenities like restaurants and cafes and shops it'll be transit choice but also transportation innovation riding a bike to work one day carpooling the next comfortable with the rta and bus service working in our regional employers throughout the metro west region and if we do all of this we can really transform downtown Framingham into a regional center for workforce housing in a vital, rich, diverse, urban neighborhood. So you should come to downtown Framingham. You should see the diverse range of ethnic restaurants ranging from Vietnamese to Colombian to South American and Brazilian cuisine. You should see the shops. You should see the vitality and the foundation for just an amazing neighborhood that we can create around this transit-oriented development model. In Framingham, we're focused on the future. Come to downtown Framingham, learn more at www.framinghamma.gov, do it today.